Manufacturers use a number of words when it comes to describing the quality of stainless steel that goes into kitchen equipment. They range from nondescript, non-specific, like this one, stainless steel made in China, and that can be stamped on by anybody, to somewhat more specific, like these ones here. Take a look at those numbers. It says 18 slash 10 stainless steel and 18 slash 8 stainless steel. These numbers are recognizable by the industry, but they are not too precise. Take a look at this sheet here, it says stainless steel. The 18, the first number, describes the chromium, sorry, the chromium content in the steel. The second number describes the nickel content in the steel. The 18 slash 10 stainless steel can be any of these steels that have about averaging 18% of uh, chromium and 10% of nickel. So it can be a number of these, you can see, there's quite a bit to choose from. And uh, consequently there are many 1810 stainless steel. The standard industry name is uh, this three letter code uh, that's used by the Society of Automotive Engineers. You might see that abbreviation on engine oils and other products that need to be standardized. And you can see that the that, that batch of 1810 stainless steel can be 302, 302B, 303, 303SC, 304, uh, 304L, 304CU, uh, those all fit the 1810 stainless steel description. But there are other elements that make up the stainless steel as well. And in the other column you can see copper, molybdenum, uh, and other things, selenium listed there. So there are many stainless steels that can be made. And 1810 doesn't quite describe a single one, it describes a good batch of them. All of these are austenitic stainless steels, so that means that they are not magnetic. This one here where we started, this one is very slightly magnetic. This one is not magnetic at all, none. And uh, Swiss Army knife here, very strongly magnetic. As not all stainless steels are magnetic, only some. The 300 series, the austenitic, the austenitic stainless steel, everything with 300 numbers, they are non-magnetic and they are the 1810 and 188 stainless steels. So the 188s are further down here. Some of them have about 18% uh, uh, chromium and about 18, and about 8% nickel in it. So. Uh, the, the 8, that second digit again, is nickel and it doesn't relate to the carbon content. That's the, like there's an 8 there and some 8's there, so no, no. That's the first number is chromium, the second number is nickel. That uh, carbon content is 8 hundredth of a percent, not, not 8 percent, that's 8 hundredth of a percent, a smidgen in other words, and has to do with uh, the hardness or uh, sharpenability of steel. So. These surfaces, uh, countertops, sinks, they don't need to be sharp, they need to be able to bend without cracking and uh, that's where these stainless steels excel. The magnetic stainless steels that can be identified by the 13 slash 0 numbers or like this Swiss Army knife, uh, the manufacturer here, take a look at the manufacturer's web page here that says Victorian Swiss Army. The steel that goes into it is identified as X50 Chromo or CRMO. That steels, those steels can also be identified because even though this numbering system is used by the Society of Automotive Engineers and in uh, North America in general, there's another numbering system next to it, the UNS, the Unified Numbering System, which also uses somewhat similar numbers than the uh, SAE numbers, but the European steels, take a look at this page here from this website, this is uh, the British Stainless Steel Association, and the numbering system for stainless steels goes a little differently. You can see on the page here the steel X50 chromo identified there and that number there 
and this entire column is yet another steel numbering system and uh, some other alternative designations are also listed here uh, these steels that go into the manufacture of Swiss Army knives or other knives as well they're pretty close to the 420 steels that are called 420 on the other numbering system and they are also they could also be marketed and marked by 13 slash 0 okay so that's how some of these steel designations work some of them are more specific than others again this uh, 13 slash 0 because O is the nickel content, you can see there's barely any nickel content in some of them and none whatsoever, but the chromium content averages to be 13%-ish. So there is a number of steels again that fit the description that it's 13 slash O. That one, that one, that one, that one, right away. And But those ones too are 13% chromium, so it could be 403, 410, 415, sorry, 4, 414. 416 SE, 420 with 0% nickel in it, so 420F, so the 13 slash 0 designation is not a very specific one, so it doesn't quite tell you what the steel is actually made of, but the numbers are out there. You can take a look at the same web pages and, uh, and see the chemical composition of the steels just the same way. Have fun reading!